My apologies. Hello. And the reason for that funny voice over here is I wanted to show you a nice cool way that you can find cool and fun fonts that you can use for your Word document project. That is thanks to a built-in application called Fontbook. You see, sometimes you just want to look for a nice cool font and you just want to insert that font with that particular style. It could be fun, it could be funny. You just want it. Problem is where to get it. Well, with Fontbook, you don't have to worry. So instead of talking about it, let me show you. Let's get started. Welcome to my desktop running Mac OS Sierra 10.12. And in this particular instance, as with all my videos, I'll be using a number of teaching aids. For example, every time I click on the screen, you see feedback to show you where my mouse is clicking. And of course, when I zoom in, zoom out, you will actually be able to focus on areas of the screen that are too small if a video was in full size. And this video is about Fontbook. Let me just click and launch the Fontbook application. So this is Fontbook. Where do you find it? All you need to do is go to Spotlight, type Fontbook, and you have your result for Fontbook. Launch it, and there you have it. Alternatively, go to your Applications folder. You can find Fontbook just after FaceTime, and definitely before GarageBand, iBook, iBook Auto, or iTunes, depending what application you've installed inside your application folder. So. What is the purpose of Fontbook? Fontbook is about managing the fonts on your computer. A font is literally text. What you see on the screen, everything that you type, they are all fonts. And if you are a graphic designer, Fontbook is where you can turn on or turn off the font because definitely you'll be loading thousands of fonts. Here, I only have about 200 fonts, which is quite little for a graphic designer. And for graphic designer, you can turn on, turn off, especially if you don't need them to help speed up a computer because you don't need to load so much fonts. But you are all basic users. You just want to know what you want to use Fontbook for. In this case, you can use Fontbook to find cool fonts that you would otherwise never even knew. From Fontbook, you can actually view all the glyphs, what they look like, what's the size, how the angle is. And if you're lucky, you can actually go through all the different languages and all the different font type. In some cases, like this, Baldini ornaments, you can see this is our special font type. So over here, you can explore what kind of fonts you can use. They're all over here in a very easy and fun way to find. You can also go directly to Smart Collection, like English, you show you only English fonts. You can even create your own collection. Yeah, you just name it. You can create another smart collection and say what kind of rules you want. Let's say what kind of language it is. Let's say language includes, say, for example, let's see if I can find Chinese. And uh, I'll call this Chinese for the sake of example. Okay. And you try to find it provided that the name is correct. So obviously I've named the rule wrong, but you can go and explore and find out what you want inside Fontbook. And once you're done and you know what you want, like for example, a chalk duster looks cool. This is really a cool font. I want to use it in, say, my documents. Let me launch mail. Let me go and, to, and create a new mail. Let's say, hello, a simple one. Now, this is too small. So I'm going to activate and uh, make the text size a bit bigger. Let's say I go to 96. This is actually much more clearer. You notice that here it sells Helvetica. And you can see that there's so many fonts here. But the problem is it doesn't show you. Just now, you know it's chalkboard. Let me change the chalkboard. That's one example. Or maybe you want to see something, a like chalk duster. So let's see, chalk duster. This makes it easier to find the fonts you want. So it's very, very useful. You can also use Fontbook in a combination with your show emoji and symbols panel. To activate this, go to system preferences, go to keyboard and make sure that show em keyboard and emoji viewers in menu bar is checked. When this is checked, clicking over here on the upper right corner has the option show emoji and symbol. Clicking on that would bring up a panel with characters. So from here, you can actually find different types of characters that you want. And right now, because I highlighted hello, it actually gives me an example of what kind of font I can use. So let's say E, instead of that, I can see and scroll around and say that I want this, perhaps, or this. So if you double click on it, you can change it, you can find it, you can actually 
drag, say, the font you want, drag the font you need, throw it inside here. And it's not only limited to text, emojis, you can come here and find the emoji you want. You can find other things. Okay, these are all various emoji. And it's not only just emoji as well. It could be symbols, arrows, bullets, currency. So you want Korean won, for example. They're all here. Latin type symbols, all the various glyphs. Letter-like symbols, maybe you want all these special omega symbols, etc. There are a lot of mathematical symbols. Okay. All are available. Parenthes, pictographs. Pictographs are really cool. This was done in the days before emojis was popular. So you can see there's a lot of variety over here. And remember, for each option, there's a lot of font variation. So you can choose in one type of symbol, different type of font variation. And they're all available here by default, by design inside Mac OS X. So remember, come to Fontbook to look for all the various fonts that are available. You can also come to Show Emoji and Symbol. Make sure to activate it inside the keyboard system preferences. Show Keyboard Emoji Viewer in menu bar. And that's it. You're off. So hopefully you find this interesting and you can now explore all the various fonts, some which you might never have seen before, but already existed on your Mac for a very long time. So hopefully you find this interesting and have learned something new. Remember to like us and support us on social media, be it YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and so on and so forth. Uh, leave us some comments and suggestions on what you want to see next or what you want to learn next. And thank you all so much for your support. Uh, please join us for the next video. This is Ken from Switch saying goodbye.